Hi everybody, welcome to today's thrift video. It is quite the video indeed. Um, I'm gonna show you around what's going on my house with my house right now. Uh, okay, so remember I told you you guys I bought the most adorable hot pink couch for my filming room? Okay, let me show you it. It has to go back because it won't fit through the door. We've tried everything, so we're taking it back. So let me so show you. So this is it. It is in my living room, <laughs> which my living room is in shambles, and you'll see why in a second. But look how pretty it is. I'm so bummed I gotta take it back. It's like the most prettiest hot pink. It would have been perfect in my um, little filming room. But you guys remember I told you we're getting some work done on the house? All right, let me show you this. Okay, you guys can see Randy's been sleeping in the living room and I'll show you why. That's just a bag of stuff I'm getting rid of and my little sweetheart right there. But, okay, so taking you down the hall, this is our bedroom now. So we had the floors redone, repainted. It's all empty, you know, just, it is what it is in here right now. Um, so yeah, this is our bedroom that we just had all this stuff done. Now you guys, you guys, so tell me what you would do. I'm getting ready to show you what these guys did. I was gone yesterday. Um, I allowed them to be in here very bad choice to um, move the things from my bedroom. And they said they would put it in a spot where it would be, you know, easy to take care of. And yeah, let me go show you what they did. All right, so this is my bedroom. And then this is my filming room in here. I don't even know if you guys are ready for this. Look at this, you guys. Look at my filming room. This is where I sell my purses. Look what they did. Look at this. This is my bedroom furniture, my drawers. Like, they just dumped everything. Look at this, you guys. It looks like a freaking disaster, like a hoarder's disastrous. You guys know what this room looks like. Like, my shelf with my purses on it. You guys, I have product underneath all of this stuff that is probably getting wasted. Look at this, shoe boxes, crap everywhere. Look at coin all over the floor. They dumped out my uh, little little dish full of coin. Um, it's just piled all the way, almost halfway. Like there's the ceiling. It's just literally piled, you guys. And look how they took my mirror right there. It's leaning against the little uh, decor I have on my wall. Down there, you can see like my. Um, Right down there, if I zoom in, you can see my ring light. Look how they just trashed my ring light over there, just like laying there. I can't, I can't even with this. I, I can't. This is where ugh, some of our clothes are in here. These are our drawers. We can't get into our stuff. Randy and I can't get into our stuff um, to even get our clothes. Like this, I'm, I'm like beyond, I can't even with this. Okay, so my question is to you, first of all, what would you do? I already paid the guy because he did do the work, he painted, he did a shitty job. Like really, really bad. Um, but they worked, so I, I paid and I told him, I gave him his money and I said, don't come back. I said, I don't even want you to fix what you guys messed up. I'm trying to use good words. Um, so yeah. That is what's going on right now. So I cannot do any handbag sales in my room. Uh, my ring lights in there, all, I hope to God it works still. Um, yeah, I'm just, I, I'm, I don't even know right now. So I'm still gonna go to Savers and I'm still going to try to find, I'm still cleaning in the kitchen, like where they made a huge mess here. So I'm still gonna try to find handbags and everything because, you know, the hustle still goes. But I just wanted to show you guys the situation we are in right now. And on top of that, my car is in the shop being repaired. And that's going to take, they said, between a month and months for the repair. Because of um, all the internal damage that happened to the computer system when I was in the accident. Which is fine, though, because I'm, I'm fine. The kids are fine. i got a rental car whatever. But still, things are not quite as smooth as they should be. So 
that's what's going on right now and uh, I will see you guys at the thrift okay, store. Okay, so we're in and we've got several purses that I've already picked out. So, let's see what we've got hanging up over here. This is adorable. I love all the charms on this one. And the price on this little coach is $70. $70. I like it though. It's very cute. Nice and clean on the inside. But guys, we have to pass on this one. What do we have down here? A faux, very faux Chanel. It is plastic. It's got lots of chain straps on it. Which is, it's cute. 80 bucks. Here's a B. Mikowski for 30. Um, that's really, actually, that one's actually cute. Has it got double straps on it, like tote style? No, it's just one. Hmm, that's pretty. I don't know, do you guys want this one? It's definitely pretty for a fall bag. Let me see the back. Oh, that's cute. I love how that it's got chain on it, with the resin. Really clean. Hmm, maybe I should think about that one. One long, like not long, but one shoulder strap. So it's definitely a unique purse, I guess. For 25, sack root. For 40, what the heck? And let's go over here. Here's one of those TikTok bags by Steve Madden. Somebody donated their Steve Madden TikTok purse. Uh, I'm not gonna get it though. It's 40 bucks. New condition. And then this is a Prada, a fake Prada. And it is, how much are you? 50 bucks. $50 for this fake Prada. Here is a fake Gucci. Um, and it's 150. Here's a Michael Kors, this is real. And they're asking 40 for it, and it's pretty messed up. You can't really see on camera, but it's definitely pretty messed up. Now let's go over here and check out the bags that are on the rack. See what else we can find for you, for you kiddos. Ooh, let's stop with this real quick. Oh, look at this pretty, um, I think it's a, oh yeah, it is a bracelet. That is so cute, you guys. So it's got an inlaid flower on it. Isn't that adorable? It's got the two little sparrows, it looks like, with a little bead. Braided leather strap. How much? $2.99? I think I need that. $2.99. Oops, where'd you go? $2.99, I'll get it. That's pretty. We'll just lay it right here. All right, let's go over and take a look at the purses with you guys. What are these? They're different. Here's this coach for 25. With this guy. It feels like suede leather, but it is not, and I can tell right now it's starting to peel. Would have been kind of cool though. Betsy Johnson. A little Betsy Johnson for 20. I'm gonna pass on that one. I know you guys, okay, somebody has been asking for Betsy Johnson, but. Um, if the prices are too high, then I just go ahead and I pass on them. Here's a blue denim color coach, but it's in real bad shape. See the strap? No good. And they want 25 for that. 
<clears throat> and let's see what we got here. Betsy Johnson crossbody. And then fake, very fake Michael Kors plastic for 15. And over here we've got a rampage, a tinganello. Tinganello is how you pronounce it. I looked it up online. Kind of interesting. They have that pronunciation thing. Uh, hot kiss. I like that material. That's cute. $5.99. And what is this? Just a random tote. This looks like an Anne Klein. And it is Anne Klein satchel. I love Bungalow. I think it's so cute. Bungalow 360. It's got little owls on it. That's cute. This is really cute too. The sack roots bag. But they want 25 for that. And it's Pretty, pretty used. Here's something boho looking. Got a little apple charm on it. Lots of little dingly, dingly, dinglies on it. How much is this? $10.99, but it is faux leather. That's pretty hot ombre, though. Kind of like that. It's got a gold inlay in the back. Hmm, I don't know. Would you guys like this one or not? Because it's not real leather. Pendleton. And nothing there. Here's eelskin. A little uh, eelskin vintage crossbody. It's a cute little tote. I like that one. It's just a cheapy, but it's cute. What? $19.99 for that? Holy, that's crazy. That's too much because it's uh, plastic. Nothing. Iman. All right, let's take a look over here on this side, see what we've got going on. Cute little baguette with a chain. Those are a very hard sell for me, though. Because you guys mainly are big bag gals. I do get my occasional smaller purse girl. But it's kind of rare. Tennis Cole. 